Improving access to resources while preserving and replenishing those resources is what we do at Veolia. Every day our recycling plants transform plastic waste from households, businesses and industry into reusable granules with properties similar to those of virgin materials. Our solutions support an evolving plastics industry by offering a responsible alternative to reduce pollution and protect ecosystems. How and why at a glance? Already separated by material type in waste sorting centres, the bales of plastic are transported to the conversion plants by truck. The bales are uncompressed upon arrival. The plastic is then fed into large volume shredders. There it is shredded finely to create flakes. This process produces a homogeneous mixture which makes it easier to separate the different components. Immersed in industrial washing tanks, the flakes are cleaned. Then they are mixed by paddle wheel systems inside a sink float separation tank. Some low density plastics such as bottle tops float and gather on the surface. Other plastics sink by themselves to the bottom where they can be collected. The wastewater is treated and reused in a closed circuit. After being thoroughly rinsed, the flakes are then dried in a centrifuge, which uses suction to filter out the lightest residues, such as fragments of labels. The remaining impurities are identified by a cascading optical sorting system and blown away. The flakes are then stored in silos by category. This preparation ensures that the flakes' purity is similar to that of virgin plastic. However, they do not yet match client expectations for raw materials. The chemical, physical and mechanical properties of each type of plastic are studied and characterized in the laboratory. Standardized trials and bench testing guarantee that the data is reliable and representative. This precise knowledge of plastic sources allows Veolia to produce the required raw material. The flakes that match industrial client specifications are fed into an extruder, where a rotating screw heats the plastic until it softens. Additives and colorants are sometimes added to meet the client's technical requirements. The material is then cut into granules. Once dried, these plastic granules are stored in silos or packaged in big bags. The laboratory inspects the product to make sure it complies with technical specifications and regulatory requirements. Once approved, the new raw material is ready for industrial usage. By controlling the plastic recycling procedure from start to finish, from sorting waste to delivering tailor-made raw materials, we provide solutions that promote the development of a circular economy essential for the protection of the environment.